welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to do a quick video on this, the new Haas Next Generation Control. So let me show you the cutter I'm using. So we got a three inch shell mill. Like if you're trying to figure out, you know, your surface speed to mill a piece, this calculator function is actually pretty cool. So you can just hit the current commands key. So I'm already in the calculator function. So let's hit the arrow down key. And then we'll come over to the right. And there's your milling key. From here, you can start entering your values. So I got a three inch shell mill. So let's arrow down and just type 3.0. Surface speed, I don't know yet. RPMs, I don't know. Flutes, I got six. So we'll hit six. Feed, I don't know. Chip load, don't know. So it's aluminum alloy and you can just toggle between these buttons to change the material. So we'll come back to aluminum alloy. Same with, then we'll arrow down to carbide, or I'm sorry, tool material. It's either steel or carbide, so you just either hit one of these. Now you see the two values are highlighted. You're going to arrow back up. It tells me a starting recommended value of 4,000 to 8,000 as far as a chip load. So let's, let's do four. So point oh oh four. That's filled in, and we'll arrow up. Surface speed, minimum 1500 to 23.99. So we'll type 1500. And it tells me that's the RPM to program with a feed rate of just under 46 inches. And that's a starting value. And you can play around with that, um, you know, depending on how you want to finish. Okay, so that was pretty quick. I just wanted to show that in case, uh, you know, if it's something you wanted to try. Thanks again for watching. I'll have more videos coming up. And I'll see you again.